Hi, my lovelies. I'm Roxanne Karn, personal wardrobe stylist for women, and I transform women's wardrobes and I transform their lives. Thank you so much for joining me today and for visiting my channel and watching this video. I am going to be sharing a special unboxing with you with a new luxury brand, not new as in not been around, but new to me as in I got my first pieces from this brand and I'm so happy to share that with you today. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below and let me know your thoughts on what I'm sharing with you. Um, that helps me create content that I know that you will love and enjoy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I am unboxing today, doing some um, unboxing with Balenciaga. So Balenciaga is a um, major fashion house. I mean, the Balenciaga name is one that it's not new. Um, I think Christian Dior, when they were all living, had referred to Cristobal Balenciaga as kind of like the father of fashion. Balenciaga's pieces has, have always been slightly edgy, definitely avant-garde, um, off on its own like vibe and like off the beaten path, uh, just really fun, fun fashion. And I've always watched it from afar, but I really started kind of paying more attention to the fashion house last year because um, this is that was 2021 because they had been in the couture space for many years and then after he passed they stopped they were out of the couture space for tw i think it was 27 years and they re-entered the couture space last year which was major for fashion and for those of you not familiar with um couture or haute couture. Haute couture are pieces that are, they're made for you. They're handmade. So much time, art, energy, love are poured into pieces. And these are things that you cannot buy in the store. They're all made. It's not ready to wear. And so Balenciaga was still doing ready to wear, but hadn't been in the couture space for all that time. And couture is very, very specific. There actually is a commission that um, that governs who is allowed to be um, in the couture space. One of the requirements, for example, is that you have to have a fashion house that is based in Paris. You cannot do couture if you do not have a house that's based in Paris. So anyway, long story short, they made kind of big headlines and I was just like, I've always heard of Balenciaga and I know their stuff, but I never really kind of like paid attention to it until hearing that they were going back into the couture space. And I was like, okay, that's a signal that they're making big moves and they really have been over the past year with their designs. So I'm super excited to share with you my first pieces that I got from Balenciaga. So let's do it. All right, so the first piece is actually this top that I'm wearing. Um, this has the double B motif and it says Balenciaga Paris. Again, haute couture, you have to have a house in Paris. Yeah, it has to be based there. Um, so this is a really cute and super comfortable fitted tee. Um, it is a three quarter length sleeve and it is I would say slightly cropped. Um, it's not like cropped up to here, but when standing, it's not something that will fit like into your jeans like super deep. Um, but I really fell in love with this top because of the bling on it. You know, I like my edge. I love some bling here and there. And I just thought it was just an amazing piece and it completely fit my edgy persona. I'm very classic, but then I've got a side of me that's edgy. And this is kind of like my um, my little bit of edge. So super happy with this top. And when I brought it home, they did package it for me in this really um, nice woven bag, um, nice and flat. I haven't quite seen um, a bag like this from a designer. Um, so the top was folded nicely and placed right in here. So I will be keeping this because I think it's really, really cool. And regarding the packaging, so normal Balenciaga brand coloring, um, especially when it comes to their bags, is actually this gray right here. Um, but this particular season, they have been playing with pink. Um, so when I got this these pieces, um, the sales associate gave me 
this bag in this beautiful pink. Um, so it's got Balenciaga here. And you know, pink and gray are like peanut butter and chocolate. They go so well together style-wise, so I can see why they went with this. Um, but you know, I love my pink and it's my brand color. So uh, I was very, very tickled when the SA pulled this out and gave this to me. So anyway, so that's the top. Um, and I have four pieces I'm gonna be talking about today. So that's number one. Number two, let's talk about these amazing pair of shoes that I got. Okay, so back, we've got our gray boxing going on here. And this shoe is also playing with the pink motif or the pink coloring rather. Are you ready for this? These shoes are un freaking real. Okay, let's get it out of the dust bag here. All right, check this out. Ah! <laughs> this slide, this is a mule or slide. Absolutely gorgeous. So these are pink rhinestones all throughout the shoe. We've got an exaggerated pointed toe, um, a square heel back here on a stiletto. The, sti the heel actually is stiletto, but a square shape on the heel right here. Um, made in Italy, absolutely gorgeous. Let me open up the other one. So I was trying this top on with another skirt. I'll include the video for the skirt to show you too. That skirt, I was this close to getting. I didn't get it ultimately, but the SA was like, oh, let me bring out a pair of shoes that you can like have some height with it, which you always want to do when you're trying clothes on, especially skirts. So, you know, I know it was a sales tactic, but I didn't know what shoes she was going to bring out. She brought these bad boys out. I was like, oh my God, yes, yes, yes. So I was like, I don't care. These are coming home with me. So she brought out the, the ones that I tried on with the outfit that she brought for me were 37s. Um, I usually wear like a 38, um, sometimes a 39 in European brands. Um, so that one was a little bit too small for me. And I was like, do you have a 38 um, at all? And she said, yeah, let me go check. And she, she had it. So I was like, these are coming home with me. Um, really just beautiful black bottoms. I will be getting these um, sold with my protectors that I always do to get that grip on and just to protect the shoe a little bit longer. But I mean, I'm like in heaven, like this is me all the way. Like this pink, and I mean it, look at it, the same pink as the bag. Oh my God, unbelievable. I'm so happy with these shoes. And what is really interesting about this, um, when we were checking out, we had the opportunity to chat with the store manager and he was telling us that his store here in Dallas only got three of these shoes, a, a six, a seven, and eight. So a 36, a 37, and a 38. And they only probably had about 20 of these in the entire country. Um, so I felt so good that I was able to snag these in my size and knowing that they only were sent three for all of Dallas is unbelievable. And here's the deal, you cannot buy this online. Balenciaga does have an e-commerce um, capability. They do sell um, clothes and handbags and shoes online, um, but you cannot buy these online. You have to go to a boutique and there's no guarantee that they will even have it from Italy. So that was my reveal, these beautiful, beautiful shoes. I feel like kind of like Dorothy, like clicking, <laughs> clicking the, the glittery shoes. Um, so on brand for me all the way. Absolutely love that. Okay, so my next reveal, check this out. And I've been dying to open and open it up since bringing it home, but I wanted to share, um, you know, and have the un unveiling and the revealing for you, for you all. Um, but I got a really cute purse. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. I almost hate to, and I don't like untying the the bow, so I'm gonna remove it this way because I like to kind of hold on to these memories. <laughs> I know I'm corny, but I'm like that. I hold on to all my boxes, all my bows, everything. Okay, so, you know I love purses. 
um, and I'm always looking for something that's cool and new and different. So this is part of their spring summer 2022 collection. And it's an interesting take on a popular style that really has been dominating Balenciaga purses for the past, like, I don't know, two years almost. Um, so here we go. This is a an hourglass wallet on chain. So it is really like a clutch purse, okay? Um, and you can see it sits just like the hourglass. So the Balenciaga hourglass purse, the normal one, um, has um, a little bit of a top to it and it's got a top handle, but it's known for having these two feet and this kind of curve, curvilinear, it's called curvilinear actually, um, line from one side to the next. And of course we got the B for Balenciaga in here. Um, so what they did was that they innovated it to turn it into this wallet on a chain. And um, it is nice because you can wear it as a clutch. This is the gunmetal color. Um, they had this available in silver and like a champagne gold. But when I saw this, I was like, this is me all the way. I love gunmetal because you can play with both gold and silver accents when you're wearing gunmetal. Um, so anyhow, it's croc embossed. We kind of have a tighter embossing here on the edges and then a little bit wider in the middle. And then in the back, we do also have a pocket. So if you want to put your driver's license, credit cards, and it can go right there. It's not big enough to put a cell phone back here, so don't even attempt to do that. Um, and then we have our little pull right here. And inside, you see, again, that's why it's called a wallet on a chain, because you've got all of these credit card slots right here. Um, there's another pocket like right here of soft leather and it even has a zippered area. This is a great space to maybe keep like a mirror or um, a small lip gloss or something that can fit right in there. And then here's the chain. So you could remove the chain entirely. Like if you wanted to wear it as a clutch and you knew that you were not going to um, convert it into a crossbody at any point, in that time that you're wearing it, um, you could actually remove the entire uh, strap. They're just two snap closures right here and you pull it out, you're done. But if you want to have the option of maybe, you know, you start your evening as a clutch, but then you get a couple of drinks, you don't wanna be holding your purse, you wanna put it on crossbody. As you can see, this nested right inside the bag without any issues and it doesn't really take up a lot of space. But when we look at the crossbody um, strap itself, it too is gunmetal, right? So it's gunmetal, it's really thin. Uh, it's It's got weight to it, but it's not too, too heavy at the same time. Um, and yeah, it's not too distracting from the purse itself. So you can easily put it here and the drop on the shoulder is really good. So it'll hit you like right in that kind of high hip area. Um, sometimes with certain uh, uh, purses, they can be a little bit short here. I know like the Chanel Classic Flap, if you do a cross body on it, it puts it like right here, which can be sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable for people, really depending on where it hits. But this one is nice and long. Um, but again, you always have the option of, um, you know, taking the strap off altogether or concealing it in the bag if you feel that you may need it later on. Now for this bag, when I wear this, I plan on wearing this mainly for kind of going out to like a snazzy dinner or evening um, because it is kind of dressy. That's the vibe. Um, I do feel that you could wear this um, more casually if you wanted to. Um, you know, with the right, could you wear it with jeans and a t-shirt? You totally, totally could if you wanna have that be your bit of bling. But I know for me, um, with this finish and just the vibe and thinking of like the pieces that I have that I would wear with it, it really would fall into more kind of like, you know, a nice night out um, with girlfriends or date night or um, going to something even a little bit more kind of snazzy. Um, so yeah, this is my first Balenciaga 
purse. Technically, it's a, a small leather good. It's a wallet on a chain, um, but I just love the shape. I think it's really, really cool, extremely pretty, and it has that right amount of edge that I love. So welcome to the family. So we have, we have that. And then the last piece um, that I'll share with you, I don't have yet. They actually had to special order it for me, but in store, they had these really pretty um, silver toned ear earrings. It was, um, it's a pendant and I'll show a picture of it, of the front and back. Um, it's a pendant with um, a little bee hanging off of it and it's got um, little rhinestones in the bee. Um, it's a pretty small earring. It's probably no more than an inch long. And I thought that that was really cool. I liked it. I liked that it was small but still because it had the rhinestones, it kind of can catch your eye when you move a little bit. Um, having the little bee also is kind of understated. I think it's one of those things that if people don't know that it's Balenciaga, they would just think, oh, maybe her name starts with the letter B or something, right? So I like that it's not in your face like this. <laughs> um, so if I want to wear it, I could. So um, that is going to be available for me to pick up sometime this week. So, um, you know, take a look at the pictures. Let me know what you think. And um, there were another pair of earrings that I didn't get. I'll include those pictures too. Just to show you kind of the variety that they have. Um, it is this double B back-to-back uh, -back motif. And um, this, the manager, when he showed it to me, I was like, is that a brooch? Because it was literally like this big. And he said, no, it's an earring. And so he showed it to me and I just, I didn't even put it in. I put it up to my ear and it wasn't even like an ear crawler. It was just like this big double B from here to here. And it was so big and wide. I'll show a picture of it to you here. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, it's pretty substantial. Um, and while I think there are some people that can get away with it, maybe some younger folks, um, absolutely. But it was just a little bit too much for me. And I was like, if it was a smaller double B, I probably would have considered it, but I stuck with the little pendant one. So anyway, that is my initial kind of um, steps with Balenciaga. I'm very, very impressed with the ready to wear that they had in the store. They had great colors great fit, um, just really cool, fun, edgy pieces that just kind of take you out of your element. So if you're looking for a new luxury brand to play with, I highly recommend checking out Balenciaga. Um, if you own Balenciaga pieces, whether it's ready to wear shoes, shoes, jewelry, handbags, drop it in the comment section below. I'd love to know what pieces you love and that way I can look it up and check it out too. All right, thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,